Today we're going to talk about the standard target. We've added a new option to it. There may even be some options you're not aware of. So let's take a quick look. By default, the standard target has five rings and they are numbered one, two, three, four, and then six for the bullseye. And by default, when you finish the first frame, so the Axe Dudes here gets a 2, you click wherever you hit, they get a 6. What we're going to do is we're going to move where the bullseye is, which is a great option because it stops you from just wearing out the center of your screen. So by doing this, each frame, the bullseye is in a different spot, and you're probably well aware of that, and that's how you do it. But there's also some options where you can turn that off. The other option that shows up is on the fifth and tenth frame, we have these kill zones or clutch shots that show up, and those are worth eight points. But again, those can be turned off and on. So let's go take a look at how we set some of these other settings. If you go into your admin and you uh, hit settings, there's an option up here that says target settings. And there's some default settings for all of the targets, like do you want the number of throws per turn enabled so each person can throw two times or three times before the next person. And that will be set when they uh, select the team names. You can choose to do five frame games or ten frame games. Do you want the animated banners when somebody wins? But then there's the options over here for the target itself and one is the rotating targets. And perhaps you don't want the rotating targets or you don't want the kill shots. So let's leave the kill zones on and we're not going to rotate the targets and we can also opt now to use a six ring target. So if we take a look at what that looks like, now we go into the targets and you'll see we have six rings where we have one, two, three, four, and the green here is a five and the red is a six. And again, you can choose whether or not this rotates or not. So some people who want to do leagues and tournaments and things like that are choosing to do the six ring target and have it not move. So it's more like conventional axe throwing uh, instead of having the, the motion where things change. So just wanted to point out those are options. You can play with the different versions in there and choose to add or subtract any of the different options to your target to modify it for what works best for your location. Hope you enjoyed the overview.